on my way to the corporate, man. But before I get there, I just felt like, let me pull over and holler at y'all real quick. All right, so. All right, welcome to SoFlo TV again, everybody. It's your host with the most. Check this out, man. Today, we're going to talk about, this video right here today is about Gucci Man and why his fans, hardcore Gucci Man fans, find it hard to accept. That Gucci man went to prison, came home, and has changed. Why do they find it hard to accept that this is not a clone? This is a man that grew up and finally is ready to face his grown self. He has reinvented itself. Let's talk about this, man. What people don't understand is three years in a federal penitentiary is a lot of time. Three years under any circumstances is a lot of time. If you imagine being locked up for three years, boxed in for three years, just think about your own life. How many things have you done? How much has changed in your life in just the past one year? Think about that. In just the past one year, how many things has changed? So imagine Gucci Man three times that, right? Now, he came home. Everybody was screaming, free Guwa, free Gucci man. Gucci man came home. He came home different in body. As you can see, he came home different in body. He went from being fat, overweight, sloppy, unhealthy, hard breathing, to someone that is now chiseled, body is looking healthy, he's strong. Now the brother look like if he say square up or give me a one on one, he look like he'll really beat some ass, right? And they were scared of him before for that. So now I'm guessing motherfuckers are really scared now. But he came home healthy. He came home healthy looking at least, right? Apparently he came home healthy here, mentally focused. And I was watching a little interview with Gucci and Gucci said, he wanted to make sure that them three years that he did was not for nothing. He wanted to make sure that when he came home, whatever the situation or circumstances was that made him have to go do three years, that he was not the same Gucci man that was going to go back and do three more years or any more, any more prison time for that matter, right? So he came home and he was focused. I think a big part of Gucci coming home and being focused and staying on his pivot was... He came home to this female. Big up to my Jamaican people, them. So, no fun I don't know, but his girl, Gucci Man's girl is Jamaican. I know they link her to a lot of niggas. They linked her to Rick Ross. They linked her to a bunch of other famous people. Basically, people been trying to hate and say that the girl been fucked and passed around and whatnot. Whatever the case may be, there's a lot of females out here that's fucking for free. And they not getting paid no money for it. At least she balling off of her pussy. So, that's how I look at it. And not only that, my prison niggas, the motherfuckers who done their time already, they'll tell you that it don't matter if she out here cheating. As long as she ain't bringing me no diseases, what's really good or what really matters is the fact that she's able to actually hold me down. She's sending them flicks. She's showing up for them visits. She keeping money on the books. That's what really mattered. And when you're doing three-year stretch, a shorty going to be there for you for about a month. Two months, three months, six months. Right? You Gucci man, she might be there for you for a year. It starts to get hard after a year. We're looking at year two, and he fighting this time. And his time is looking indefinite. Like, they didn't know that Gucci was going to come home in three years. Shorty was staying by him. She ain't know he was going to come home in three years because if you remember correctly, when Gucci got locked up, there was no set date for him to come home for a three-year time period. We thought he was going to go. Out, he was gonna have to go do a lot of time, right? All right, so boom. Whatever took place in the legal court system, he was able to get out. He comes home. He's focused. He's on house arrest. He's focused. I see people leaving comments like, uh, he's only fucking with that bitch until he gets off house arrest. That's Gucci, man, and he lives in a mansion. As a matter of fact, he got more than one mansion. So if he wanted to be on house arrest and have a wide selection, variety of females coming through and he busting them down, 
he could do that. The man is on his game. The man is on his pivot. He Right now, he's in the pocket. Gucci is about business right now. What people don't understand is when you hit a certain age, your mind start thinking differently. The OG said this to me. He said, for you young niggas, it's all about pussy and pretty girls. When you hit my age, homie, it's all about how much money you got in your bank account and what your retirement year is going to look like, how that stack up, and you start focusing on that. And I think that's where Gucci is at right now. And he ain't old. He's still young. But he's focused right now. He has a focused female. She changed her whole self as well. She was sloppy. Well, not sloppy, but she was a bit thick on the thick side. I wouldn't even say fat. And she decided to trim down, start eating healthy, shorty thinking longevity. She thinking, and sometimes that's what a baller need. Sometimes that's what a go-getter need. A strong man, an alpha male that's willing and ready all times to get up and go get it. Need that alpha female to hold him down on the other side. You know what I mean? Keep him in pocket. Be like, baby, look, you're getting out of control right now. Hold this down. All right, look. Th that what you eating right there won't do no good for you. You know a lot of females, they like to feed their man fast food and all that other stuff. And coming from the Jamaican culture, we were taught this early. If your woman feeds you fast food, that's what she's going to get in the bedroom. She's going to get some fast, weak-ass sex. If she feeds you some healthy food, like the ukro and the steamed fish and all that other stuff, she's going to get that long ride with that slimy shit, right? So it's the food. The food determines your longevity in a big way. So he's with a Jamaican female. That's what I'm trying to get to. What his, what his, what his core audience or his fans, especially the ones that were expecting to see the same ignorant, arrogant, out of shape Gucci man come out unwise, unintelligent, talking and slurring where you cannot make out a sentence. And he has to repeat it or you just take whatever he's saying for whatever you think it was. They, for those who were expecting that type of a Gucci man to come home, they're disappointed in a big way because that's not what happened. Now let me say this. It goes to show that a lot of people want to see you do good, but they don't want to see you grow. They want to see you do good what they consider doing good. For instance, Gucci was doing good. Everybody know Guap was getting money when he was out here. But his speech had an issue. And again, I watched the same interview where Gucci is saying that he got intelligent. Three years, and he was always intelligent. But the fact that he was always leaning, or he was always sipping lean, he was always smoking, he was always drinking and smoking, he was always intoxicated, inebriated, he was always high. His speech was slurred and slowed down. His thinking was slurred, his, his thinking was blurry, unclear, slowed down. And he was unable to articulate and relate himself to a wider scale then. Or intelligently then, or sound intelligent. So what that time did in prison for him is that time cleared him up and gave him some time to think. And brought back an intelligent Gucci. Brought back an intelligent Gucci. He started reading. He started expanding his vocabulary. He came home. He was able to stay off of whatever drugs it was that had him looking and feeling and speaking the way that he was speaking before he got locked up. And now he was able to sound different. And people are thrown back. They're like, whoa. They were waiting for the, you know what I mean? What's well, happening with your own boy? Yeah, man. But instead, now they're seeing, I have an interview with Fader Magazine today. And they're like, what the fuck? That's not Gucci. He's a clone. He's not a clone, people. He's not a clone. He grew up. Okay? He grew up and he got wise. And it's hard for his fans to accept because they want to see, I mean, don't get it twisted, this is the entertainment field. So, 
Gucci making himself intelligent is a big switch. It's a big switch. I guess you're not supposed to be intelligent and be a rapper. Especially a trap rapper. Because if you don't know what Guwap is like, the king of trap. Right? So, they wanted to see the same persona come back. It's like the gorilla out the cage again. And everybody would have been rejoicing. Mugucci would have been back in the club and he would have been drunk and he would have been high and he would have been fucking somebody up and he would have been back to prison again and people would have been putting him on t-shirts again and saying free guwap again for another couple of years. I'm glad he changed. I'm one of his. I've been with Gucci Man since Icy. I've been with Gucci Man since Icy, since back then when Gucci caught that murder charge. And it turned out to be a self-defense shit and he beat it. I've been riding with Gucci shit since way back then. And I I, I don't know. I'm glad to see a grown-up Gucci man. Because all this means for him is that now, I bet he understands his contracts now. He understood them before. But I bet he understands even more so now how to flip that money into longevity money. How to turn that money into real estate. How to turn that money into stocks and bonds. How to turn that money into a wheel that keeps on turning and generating new cash. Breeding and generating new cash. I hope Gucci Man stays on the platform that he's at. Not the platform that he's at, but I hope he stays on the mindset that he is at right now. And only get better. I don't want to see him go backwards with it. I want to see him get better. I want to see Gucci Man go from that. It's not like 50 Cent. Remember 50 Cent when 50 Cent came out? 50 Cent came out, the scraggly, raggedy dude from the hood, uh, do rags and whatnot, drug dealer from the block, Pookie. And he went from that to corporate, suit and tie, GQ magazine covers, and that type of stuff. That's what I want to see for Gucci. I want to see him uh, take his genre of music and his image so high up that corporate ladder that he builds himself a legitimate empire. People, this is the only way that we can actually give back. This is what people don't understand. If you're making $100,000 a year and you in the hood, you're not giving back to nobody and nothing. So what? you feeding a bunch of other niggas that's in the hood with you and they street niggas with you. All that money is going to go to is some Jewish lawyers waiting somewhere to take all that money from you. Okay? Now, if you build yourself a legitimate empire where you're actually owning buildings, you're actually owning businesses, you're actually paying taxes, legal, legitimate business ownership, corporations under your name, now you're giving back. Because now you can provide your people with proper job training, you can provide them with proper employment that's going to last them they can retire from your company. You're really pumping money back into the economy, back into your community. You're really helping your people now, right? And I think this is the chain of thought that Gucci is on. And if he's not that far up the ladder yet, I'm pretty sure that Kiara, whatever her name is, Kiori, whatever her name is, the girl that is with them, I'm pretty sure that she's on some other shit. Some retirement shit, some we getting old shit, and we gonna stack this money so high shit that when we hit a certain age, we're gonna be one of the couples that's talked about. I don't know. Or maybe she's not looking at being with Gucci Man that long. Females usually do, they usually get invested deeply. Maybe Gucci ain't looking at being with her that long. I don't know. But I'm just I'm just tapping on the reasons why his core audience finds it so hard. And a lot of people started saying he was a clone, and they find it so hard that he has changed. You're not supposed to be intelligent and be a rapper. That's the image. You're supposed to be intelligent and do rock and roll music, though. You're supposed to be intelligent and do country music, though. You're supposed to be intelligent and do pop music. Every genre of white people's music and entertainment, you're supposed to be intelligent when you do them. But when you get into art, and art or entertainment forms that belong to black people, then you're supposed to be the most ignorant, unintelligent, 
must have served prison time, only been a drug dealer kind of person. And these are the, this is what they want us to believe, that that's the height of what we are. So me, personally, I'm happy that Gucci Man changed. I'm glad to see what he is. And I'm, I can't wait to see what he becomes in the future. I hope he never switches up. I hope he never goes back. Hey, man, I'm going to cut this one short right here. And I'm going to say this real quick before I go. I'm going to cut this one short right here. And I'm going to say this real quick before I go. If you're a real Gucci Man fan, you're going to ride with him through all the changes. Just If you are a real Gucci Man fan, you're going to ride with him through all the changes. Just like everybody else who's been a fan of, say, for instance, if you was a fan of, Method Man, Red Man, going up north, coming down south. If you're a fan of Little John from back in the day, if you're a fan of anybody, Pitbull, anybody, it, shit, old school, let's take it back to Uncle Luke, Luke Skywalker. If you're a fan of any artist, you're going to be there for the long haul because you grow with these people and I you want to see, see them Gucci change. Man being on the same friggin' uh, wavelength at 35 years old and 30 years old that he was at at 19 years old. That shows no growth and development, shows no maturity, and damn sure shows that he's made a lot of money that he's gonna have to give away to some white people because he's about to fill a slot, a friggin' ready-made prison cell that they already have waiting for us all, right? All we gotta do is set trip just a little bit, and they got us locked in. So, like, comment, share, and subscribe, man. This is SoFlow TV. I want you to get on here and I want you to tell me why you think it's so hard for Gucci Man's audience or his core supporters or fan base to accept that he is no longer the fat, big belly, out of shape, goo up, hard breathing, uh, ignorant, slurred speech, lean sipping, weed smoking Gucci Man. Why is it so hard for them to accept that he is now healthy? rich, intelligent, and wiser. Why is it so hard for them to accept? It's SoFlow TV, man. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Stay on the channel. Watch the other videos. And I'm up out of here. Peace.